people are getting away with it. They're getting away with murder. Well, murder changes families forever. And as one mother tells WDSU, knowing the killer is still out there makes moving on impossible. And as New Orleans leaders look to curb violent crime, experts tell us solving more murders can help. WDSU investigative reporter Emily Lane takes a closer look at crime stats and explains twice this week NOPD addressed what her story uncovered, vowing to be more transparent. Always smiling, always trying to dance, but can't dance. <laughs> <laughs> he could not dance. David was Sabrina Price's firstborn, a mama's boy turned father of three. He went by slim, despite a big appetite. He was so skinny. And don't gain a pound. He didn't gain a pound, but he loved to eat. Comes from a good background, a good home. On November 18th, 2019, Sabrina got a call. He said that my baby be shot up. My baby been shot up. And I just hit the floor and I couldn't get up. I couldn't breathe. David Quinn Price was shot in this parking lot at the Walmart in New Orleans East. He died the next day at just 26 years old. It's the day as I'm sitting here with you, I'm not here. I'm, I'm not at peace because I know the people who took my son's life it's still out here. The number of unsolved murders is also concerning for Tom Hargrove, who tracks murders and clearance rates with the Murder Accountability Project. When a city improves the rate at which it clears homicide, the number of homicides start to decline. Southeastern Louisiana University criminologist John Bulahanis has studied clearance rates and agrees. You know, that impacts safety, that impacts you know, closure to the family, and, and that, ev that even impacts the deterrent effect of the criminal justice system. So what makes up a clearance rate? The FBI defines it as the number of clearances divided by how many murders there were that year. Since clearances also include cold cases, that means it's not necessarily an indication of how many murders were solved that particular year. I think transparency is important. And just because a case is cleared, doesn't mean someone is behind bars. Police can also clear a case if the suspect they've ID'd is dead. NOPD reports show the 2021 clearance rate was 42%, but recently the department referred to a higher number. 2021, we had an 8% increase in homicide. We had a 53% solve rate. That's because Superintendent Sean Ferguson based it on their solve rate. NOPD records show it's similar to the clearance rate but also gives the department credit for cases cleared by a warrant, whether or not an arrest is made. So a case that has been cleared by warrant suggests that for whatever reason, they were unable to make an arrest. And that's not how clearance is counted in America. Last month, NOPD declined an on-camera interview. However, just this week, Ferguson addressed the use of solve rates, which he says they've reported since the 1990s and explained why he's been referring to that stat. This is a measuring tool for us to gauge what our detectives are doing or not doing in solving crimes. So yes, absolutely, we do count clear by warrants. In 2021, 17 cleared cases included in NOPD's solve rate were based on warrants. People are getting away with it. They're getting away with murder. Stats aside, Experts say manpower and forensics are keys to solving more murders. The Justice Department recommends homicide detectives work about six cases a year. NOPD says their homicide caseload is double that, at 12. NOPD sends DNA evidence linked to homicides to Louisiana State Police and tells me the turnaround time depends on the number of samples in the Baton Rouge lab. As WDSU investigates previously reported, NOPD's crime lab is not fully accredited. And while a new crime lab being built has space for DNA testing, that part hasn't been funded. The Price family says they understand detectives may be overworked, but they feel ignored. I know I'm frustrated, and I know other ones who are dealing with the same situation I'm dealing with and not receiving any call back or any text back or anything or no communication. I know they're frustrated. Sabrina hasn't returned to the Walmart where her son was killed. But every time she enters a similar parking lot, 
She peers up at the security cameras and thinks about David's killer, still out there. You know, all we want is justice, and I know everybody, you know, who had a homicide or any kind of debt in their family, I know they want justice. For WDSU Investigates, I'm Emily Lane. Well, in a new development to the story, Sabrina Price tells us a cold case detective got in touch with her yesterday after WDSU investigates asked about the status of the case. Chief Ferguson also said yesterday and again this morning moving forward that the NOPD will publicly report both the solve rate and the clearance rate to ensure everyone understands the data they are sharing. So JPSO says they do calculate a solve rate that includes warrant clearances, but only for internal use and their solve rate and clearance rates were roughly the same for the last two years. The St. Tammany Sheriff's Office says it only reports clearance rates.